Well, as we mentioned, we have an exciting lineup on the show today. It's our first ever Grandin Village Day on Daytime Blue Ridge. Yeah, we're excited to play host to some of the businesses and people that make the Grandin Village one of the greatest areas to shop, play, and eat in Roanoke. And here to tell us more about the Grandin area and some of the things they have coming up, we're happy to welcome Jenny Prigott the president and the Grandin Village Business Association. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yes. So, of course, tell us about the Grandin area. Gosh, if you've never been, you're really missing out. Grandin is a very special community, like you said. We are unusual in that we have a old-fashioned movie theater. Mm -hmm. We have a huge amount of restaurants, and we have great, great little shops. So um, you can come for dinner and a movie, hang out, shop, and it's just about the people. I mean, the community. We just all work together and it's just really like we say life is grand in the village yeah that's awesome <laughs> yeah. all right yeah let's talk about some of the businesses that you can find at the grand oh absolutely Edge. so um you know we have the toy store mm -hmm. we have my shop new to me which is consignment we have urban gypsy which is right next to me we have fine furnishings we have a used bookstore a bike shop the co-op and then the restaurants we've got such a variety of restaurants that people actually get off the interstate to come and find us because we're that highly rated. Mm. Yeah, that's so cool. And mm -hmm. so, like you mentioned, you have new to me. And so, what is it about Grandin that makes it so special? I mean, to to place your store there, I mean, it's a big Absolutely. deal. Absolutely, it's about the people. Yeah, I've been there almost 15 years, and believe me, the stories I could share about the people—it's amazing. It really is about the people. I knew I I would, didn't want to be in a cookie cutter shopping mall. Um, when I walked in the first location up where the bookstore is now and I heard the owner talking about leaving, I was like, oh my gosh, is this space taken? And it was really just a God thing to find that and fall into this community that's been home to me almost 15 years. So yeah, cool. it's definitely about the community and the people it and really is. just the relationships we've built along the way. Mm -hmm. and you can make me cry. Just yeah, all oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the events because it is Great. about bringing yeah. people together Absolutely. and you see people not only shopping right. and at the restaurants but at the events too. Absolutely. So we created something about five years ago called Grand and Chillage. Mm -hmm. It's our only money maker for the village. We had no other income coming in. So um, the last Friday of the month, which is this Friday, we've moved the location up the street to the old filling station right by Too Many Books. Okay. Um, better location. So, but it's about local. It's about local band, local brew, local food trucks. And this year we're doing something new what, that the um, tip donations will be matched by the GVBA and go to, like this Friday, it's Leap. Next oh, month it'll okay. be me. Um, so each store totally, or not totally books, Imagination Station did it. They gave to uh, charity. So the money from the tips right. this year be matched by the GBBA to go to a local charity. Oh, so that's very next cool. month I'm doing Matthew's Child, which is a local, local organization in the village. That's so great. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, check out the Grandin Chillage. Like you said, it's the Fridays. Last, last Friday, Friday, last Friday right. of the month. Right. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. 